Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about auto fill and auto fit values. Now, auto fill and auto fit values, uh, just before diving into those, uh, we have uh, this is our HTML content, and the final um, column, which was comprehensibility, is possibility. It has been removed, keep that in mind. So the autofill and autofit values, they are used to create fluid layouts without the use of any, any kind of media queries. So we create layouts that are going to respond to uh, smaller screen sizes and bigger screen sizes as they seem fit and we are not going to use any uh, media queries with them. We are going to talk about these in action when we get to our websites. For now, I'm just going to show you an example of that. Uh, so first, uh, for us to actually understand how autofill and autofit works, I'm going to specify a width for our container, and I'm going to say 1400 pixels. Keep in mind that this is, in fact, a fixed value, because autofit and autofill, they're going to create either columns or rows. We are going to work with columns, of course. They're going to create columns based on a fixed value for the grid container's width. So we have uh, D18CE. Oh, let's save this and let's take a look at our container. Um, let's open it with a live server. Mm -hmm. So we have, okay, let me just change this one to 87. Uh, autofill and autofit. There we go. So here is our container, and we have only like two rows. The rest of the rows are implicit. And we do have a background color for our container, which we can't see because the content basically takes the entire height and width of the container. That's not the point. The point is that uh, we want to create columns because when, when we are uh, considering responsiveness, mainly, not generally, mainly we are working with columns. And columns, they are important because as we make the window smaller, what is actually happening? The number of columns that are either going to increase or they're going to decrease. So we want to come up with a way to dynamically create columns, not provide them like, let's say I want five columns or I want 10 columns or I want 20 columns. What I want to do is I want to give this de decision to the CSS placing algorithm or placement algorithm so that algorithm has to come up with the number of the actual number of columns. I'm just going to give it dimensions and I'm going to tell it, okay, now it is up to you how many columns you're going to create that are going to fit within this fixed width container, which is 1400 pixels. Now that is exactly what is going to happen. Now first we are going to say uh, autofill. Now these, because, now keep in mind, because we give this decision to the uh, CSS, we give it to CSS grid, what is that decision? The decision is to create the number of columns. Therefore, autofill is going to replace the number of columns in our grid template columns. So I'm going to say repeat. Now, instead of saying four columns, 10 columns, 100 columns, I'm just going to say autofill. Autofill. What it means is create as many columns as you s deem necessary with a width of 100 pixels. And what is the fixed width of the container? That is 1400. So 1400 pixels divided by 100 pixels. How many columns do you expect this placement algorithm is going to create? Exactly, 14 columns. So the final line, column line, is going to have a number of 15 because Column lines, grid column lines, or row lines, they are the number of tracks plus one. We have talked about that, and there we go. Now let me activate the grid view, and in here if I activate it, now you can see even though we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items within this grid, eight, uh, seven more uh, columns were created, seven, seven extra columns were created. Even though we don't have any any items within them. So if we take a look at our uh, HTML or our markup, we have seven columns in here. So what happened here? Uh, basically that algorithm, it took a look, uh, it took a look at the, it take, 
it did take a look at the um, uh, the width of the container. I mean, I should be able to say this right. Uh, take, took, taken. Okay, so the second form is took. Yeah, I took that. Yeah, that's right. So for a second, I was like, whoa, I forgot in English. So what the algorithm did was it took a look at the width of the container. It was for 1,400. It has to be a fixed value that width and when we get to our projects i'm going to tell you why the width of the container something that might seem very very important it has to be fixed even though we know we don't like fixed values i'm going to tell you that when we get to our projects you're going to know that so 14 and i tell it okay i want to have the columns the width of the columns has to be the width of the columns they have to be like 100 pixels and that is a fixed value now, 1400, and it is going to think, okay, the width is 1400, and this guy requires 100 pixels of width for the column. So it's simple. I'm going to divide 1400 by 100, and I'm going to end up with 14 columns. And I, the autofill guy, I don't care whether or not there are enough uh, elements or direct children or grid items to fill all the columns. I don't care about that. I just care about the dimensions. I create the columns and then it's not my job if this developer guy cannot fill the columns. That's not my job. My job is just to create as many columns as required of me. And that's exactly what is happening here. So uh, what is the difference between autofill and autofit? Now you can see that the final line says 15, the final column line, grid column line. Keep that in mind. Now the grid autofit, it says that I'm going to create as many co columns as this developer guy requires, but if the columns have no content, if there aren't items to be placed within those columns, I'm going to collapse them. I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm not going to waste too much space on empty columns. And I do care if the developer guy cannot fill them. So if the developer guy cannot fill the columns, I'm going to basically collapse them until he comes up with an idea on how to basically fill those. Up until then, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to collapse them. But I'm going to give an indication as to uh, the fact that there are more columns to be filled. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. I'm sure you do you uh you are i'm sure you are so that's the correct i'm not sure what is happening with my english so i'm going to say 100 pixels uh, for this as well and i'm going to save that now the out of it is going to just show us seven columns the rest of them because they're empty they're going to be collapsed there we go but how do we know that there are extra columns that is because this number on the final column line if i just go ahead and if i zoom in you can see that, okay, where is it? Let's just zoom out, there we go. So this number says 15, it means that there has to be 15. There has to be 15 minus one, 14 columns, right? So where are the rest of the columns? Because they don't have any content, they're collapsed. I could say div, hey, I am here. Don't not collapse me. So collapse me. Don't collapse me, I'm here. There we go. So it did create that for us as well. So it says, I'm here, do not collapse me. Now I'm going to give it a class of item so we can see the styles be applied as well. There we go. So now, the basically, the line says 15, but we can see there are actually four, uh, there are actually eight columns. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where are the rest of these um, six columns? Because they don't have any kind of content, there aren't 14 grid items. As many grid items as there are, AutoFit is going to create those many columns with the width and the dimensions of the container that we have provided with. And if, in case, the number of the items within the grid container is not enough or it's not the same as the number of columns, it's basically going to collapse them until we create them. But what autofill did was it created the columns anyway. It didn't care whether or not we had enough uh, items within our grid container, enough direct children. So it created those and it thought, okay, it said, okay, I don't care whether or not you have content or not. I'm just going to create them for you. 
So that's what, uh, that's how this works, this autofill and autofit. And why is this really, really paramount? It's, it's, it's of paramount importance is the topic of our next lecture. So see you then.